hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is for me probably the most exciting video to film because i'm doing a what's in my kit video and i'm sure as everyone knows because i've said it i'd say in every video i've ever filmed i am studying to be a makeup artist so yeah for me like this is literally the most exciting video I've took everything out of my kit because the box is like huge and I wouldn't, I'm on my bed like so I wouldn't be able to keep lifting it up and down as, or I don't even know but I just thought it was easier if I just took everything out of my kit. I'll show you my actual makeup box and then I'll show you what I have in my kit. Just, you know, I won't be taking things in and out and everything because that'll be just too much hassle. So yeah, if you want to see what I have in my makeup kit just keep watching oh. this is my makeup box it is on wheels it's really huge i know i'm literally at the worst angle right now to show you but yeah this is it on wheels it has the little oh my god the little handle i can't even reach it at the back and it wheels like suitcase it has four wheels at the bottom like i said and it opens up and then two other drawers come up well it's actually it's four other drawers come up because it's two on each side and then obviously the bottom bit is all this it's all deep so i found for me the easiest way to like hold everything in my makeup kit was to have everything in little clear makeup bags because obviously i can stack little clear makeup bags on top of each other whereas like trying to stack foundation bottles and everything on top of each other wasn't i like you know wasn't realistic yeah this is my makeup kit i got it for christmas i think it was from pennies but uh, they don't have them anymore like it was literally like two years ago that i got this is my kit and yeah so let's get into what is inside this first thing i'm gonna start off with is actually the kind of hygiene side of it because obviously especially now but it was always very important in the makeup industry was like hygiene was such a big thing so i'm just gonna get all my little hygiene bits together okay so the first thing i'm gonna start off with is this this is my little like these are the little bags i have i'll show you the different sizes so these this is like the second size this is the middle size and then I actually don't think I'm using one of the big, huge ones for anything. I actually don't. But I actually want to, because, like, my mom actually got me all these. If you've seen in my pennies haul, I show them. So if you haven't seen that video, go look at that and come back. But, yeah, these are the bags. They're from pennies. They're so handy. They come in a set of three, a big, huge one, the middle size, and then small size. So this is my first bag. I know it's kind of, like, reflective. But in here I have some disposable spoolies which came in a kit with uh, Lauren. But I actually bought, you can get them on Amazon. And I got like, I think it was like 500 for, I think it was 7 euro. So like that's brilliant. But I just kept the little bag that Lauren gave us because it was just really handy to keep them in. In here I have a Pixie Glow Tonic. I have... Uh, a vaseline just like an aloe vera one i have a simple eye makeup remover i have a nivea moisturizing cream because oh my god this is unreal on anyone that has you know mature skin maybe anyone that smokes that has like really fine lines around their mouth because this cream literally just fills it all in it's brilliant it's a bit heavy for anyone that doesn't really you know need it like maybe you sh really shouldn't dipping into this but the survey moisturizer i actually want to get one of them for my kit for just anyone with just you know normal you know young skin kind of but this also works really well as a night cream because like i said it is really heavy so it does kind of take a while to like soak into your face but for anyone with mature skin unreal um i have a hand cream because the amount of hand sanitizer you have to use as a makeup artist is actually unbelievable like literally every time you touch your client's face and then touch a product like you literally have to use hand sanitizer like oh my god you could be using hand sanitizer maybe like 30 or 40 times i know that sounds dramatic but it's true like you literally could be using the hand sanitizer that much while doing a client's makeup so hand cream literally is essential for your hands not drying out and a sharpener for 
lip pencils because that's how you you know sanitize your lip pencils by sharpening them i have a lot more products like cleaning kind of you know what did i call this bag at the start like prep, prep your prep bag so i'm actually i'm going to change it to one of the big massive bags because i have a hand sanitizer i have three literally have three bottles of this because like i said it's so important to have as a makeup artist i have this which is surgical spirits and if you don't know what this is this is basically to spray on any products that you can't decant so like you know your eyeshadow palettes blush palettes contour palettes anything you don't really want to destroy like where say like a lipstick or an eyebrow pomade you don't have to spray because you kind of can't that as long as like no one's used it before so yeah so i just took like this is literally like a little mary badescu bottle that was empty so i just throw on it surgical spirits because i literally had one of these filled up with water and like could you actually imagine spraying surgical spirits on someone's face like no thanks next then i have just this makeup brush cleaner obviously cleaning your brushes between clients isn't really you know it's not really realistic you can't be running to the sink and you know boiling the kettle and everything every single time so just have this just to spray off if there's any sort of brushes that like maybe i don't have to next up then is these disinfecting wipes i actually got these in deals but i did actually have a pack from like aldi and they were really good so yeah next up is these because just to wipe the handles of your brushes down like the outside of your palettes just anything really like that, that you know you don't want to be washing really so these are always nice then now. i have these johnson's they're just like literally earbuds or cotton buds or i don't even know what they're called like some people call them q-tips but these are handy for just cleaning up little mistakes that maybe you make they're handy for using as like maybe a little disposable spatula because that's actually something i need to get so bad is disposable spatulas i have one like just a metal one but like i honestly think the disposable ones are more hygienic so i need to get a bag of them off amazon or like run into game for it or something but i definitely need to do that my palette and my spatula now the reason these are dirty is because obviously i have makeup on me today and i can't any makeup i use from my kit obviously i can't double dip either like or else i you know i can't use it my kit anymore so that's why there's obviously eyebrow pomade and you know foundation and everything and eyelash glue and everything and then i actually have a bit of lipstick on my spatula these need to be clean today so i will be doing that because obviously i'll be going to college on saturday so they need to be done anyway okay so now that all the boring stuff is out of the way we can get into all the fun stuff so i'm gonna just show you my kind of like face bag so these are all the foundations i bring to college with me and that are in my kit and just my concealers like any kind of cream products that are like in bottles or tubes or anything are in so yeah there. all my cream products are in this bag i what i the most of the foundations i have are actually the la girl foundations i used to hate these and now i love them i don't know what they did maybe they changed their formula i said in my last video if you haven't seen it go watch it my skin has changed quite a lot it's nowhere near as oily so maybe that's it I don't know but these i love i have a white one i have this darker one for like dark toned skins i think it's in the shade espresso and then i know one of these is nude and one of them is like nude beige so those are the ones i have then another like staple in my kit is the carter beauty hd full measure foundation this foundation oh my god i know everyone's gonna think i'm like an advocate for carter beauty i'm actually not i just really like character beauty because quite a lot of it came in my kit with lauren so you know like i do have to use it quite a lot and literally everything i've used from character beauty i've really loved so this foundation definitely is a staple in my kit and then i have these two like little random foundations this one is the l'oreal infallible foundation and this one is the no extreme mattifying foundation the l'oreal foundation on its own is unreal the note foundation on its own i absolutely hate i think it's disgusting but mixed together they're unreal and the last and power of the two of them is deadly literally deadly that note foundation i've had for a while and i didn't even try mix it with anything else 
and then this l'oreal foundation i got and it was like too light but the note foundation at the time was the only dark foundation i had so i mixed them together and literally a foundation that has never lasted or sat as well on my and then i also keep all my concealers in this little pouch and as you can all see the only concealer i have in my kit is the la girl pro conceal this concealer is unbelievable for such a cheap price i don't think i've ever owned a high-end concealer i'm trying to think now if i have or not maybe i have but i don't think i have but you honestly don't have any need to own a high-end concealer when this concealer is around honestly unreal i have the shade buff i have the shade porcelain um i've had this one from in my kit before i even kind of set up a kit and the name is actually rubbed off it but i think it's in the shade porcelain too but it looks lighter in the shade porcelain that i already have so i don't know and then i have this one which i don't actually know what the shade is i'll check oh this one is in the shade espresso so the foundation mustn't be the foundation oh the foundation is in the shade dark chocolate and then the concealer is in the shade espresso and then i have a red or i have a green color corrector which obviously counteracts red so that is my little foundation bag the next little bag i'm going to show you is this one this is like my powder kind of like face bag as well and in here i have all my face powders all my kind of little face palettes that will fit in here so i have the rcma no color powder which is unbelievable honestly it's it, it really is as good as everyone says I have the Carter Beauty Set and Standards Baking Powder, which is actually a really good dupe for the RCMA powder, even though the RCMA powder is not expensive at all. Literally, look how much pro product is in this. And I actually owned this before I set up my kit, but I could use it because obviously it's a translucent powder. So it's in like a container that I had to decant anyway. And I've had this for literally months and months and months i've used this so much and look how much product is literally still in it it's worth the money and it's not even there it's not there at all then i have my two mac mineralized skin finish i have one in shade medium and i have one in the shade give me sun i actually think maybe they're not both mineralized skin finishes but i think they are i'll check now i've give me some which is a mineralized skin finish and this one is a mineralized skin finish too in the shade medium so one is obviously um a face shade like you know a setting shade and then the other one is obviously a bronzer so i have this which is the ofra beverly hills yeah beverly hills highlighter which i actually broke the other day i was so upset because these aren't the cheapest either and they are quite hard to get hold of and um, i know you can get them on beauty baby they're not always in stock so but yeah i broke it but at least these two shades were actually the shades that i used the most and then there was another shade but it's all right that's gone because i still have two at least i'm not left with you know shades that i won't use. have this this is just an mua makeup academy prism highlighter this is actually unreal i know it kind of just looks white in the pan but this on it gives an unreal purpley like greeny it's really good it's really nice my um the bam face palette which comes with all three like the mary luminizer the cindy luminizer and the betty luminizer so one's a blush one's a highlighter and one's just like a shimmery kind of bronzer then I have my three Cartier Beauty palette. Then I have my eye bag. So everything, that sounds really weird, eye bag. But like everything I use for like eyebrows, eyeshadow, primer, eyelash glue, everything is in. As you can see, I have like a soap in here for like soap brows. I do really want to get that pear soap that everyone uses. So I may invest in that. So then in here, I'm not going to go through everything because everything is like so small. It's kind of all jumbled. I have a P. Louise base. I have a NYX glitter primer. I have an Inglot jawline. I have the Anastasia dip brow. I have the LA girl dip brows. I have two of them. I have dark brown blonde and then the Anastasia one is dark brown. I have, I think I said the Inglot 77 gel liner. I have duo glue. I have a Maybelline false lash mascara. I have a Cartier Beauty mascara. I have two like pigment glitter pots from MUA makeup artist thing and yeah that's actually pretty much oh I've been essence yolk and then I have stuff in the middle that I can't see but yeah that's just basically everything to do with eyes. The next bag I have in my kit then is for lip products. I have another Vaseline. I have the LA Girl lip liner which I had never tried before I got my kit in Lawrence. 
they are unreal honestly a dupe for the morphe lip liner which i also have a morphe lip liner in here um it's just it's just a lip liner it's in the shade love bite but this one it's called it's called cafe is honestly a dupe for and it probably is half the price i think these are like two or three euro which is unreal i don't know how much the morphe ones are because i got it in a, like a lip kit so but this is it's on me now it's in the shade cafe it's unreal ever since i got this i stopped using the morphe one i have a morphe lip gloss in the shade boho i have carter beauty lip lip tints i've carter beauty lipsticks i have catrice lip products i have maybelline lip products i have these ones which my mom got in a catalog which are actually really good i have a pink one and a red yeah. one that's just the two colors i have it's just a red one and a pink one now moving on to my brushes so the brushes i bring i have a mixture of brushes honestly so i actually have a makeup bag and what i do after my client if i only have one client or say i'm bringing it to college well obviously i have no clients now because it's covid time and we're back in lockdown but from today today was actually the first day of lockdown because it started like last night from 12 o'clock that we went back into level five so today is the first day of lockdown again but here are my brushes so i bring these two plant pot holders that i got in home store more years ago literally maybe two or three years ago now so i bring these just to hold my eye brushes my face brushes and then once i'm done we'll say like in college once i'm done my brushes i'll put all my dirty brushes back into this bag so then i don't have to clean every single brush again i only have to clean what's in this bag so because like if you put dirty brushes in with a pot of clean brushes you're kind of contaminating all the other brushes and then on the topic of brushes bring this bag of disposable sponges and um, my boy um aaron's mom actually got me these in home store more one time and i just i never really used them but they are so handy for your kit like literally they come with like little love heart ones and then just little ones like this are unreal for baking the under eye but these are just so handy to have because maybe someone's skin like isn't really green with your foundation brush like sometimes i feel like it is a lot better to like kind of be pushing the foundation in to someone's skin with a sponge so like that's why it's just no you don't always use them you don't always even take them out of your box when you're setting out your station but they are handy to have just in case so next up is just eyelashes i'm actually running really low on eyelashes at the moment uh so yeah so i have these two from pennies which are really good which i like to use they are double trouble and full look now the full look ones are not full at all as you can see they literally barely have a lash band so they're so handy for anyone that wants a bit more natural makeup maybe someone has never worn eyelashes before and they're like scared to wear them i don't know but and then the trouble double trouble ones are a lot fuller and they do have quite big lash bands so they're handy for like dramatic looks makeup like that and then these my mom actually got me last christmas and i don't know if it's too late to ask her to get me like a load more this christmas because she got me loads like literally i had like three or four trays of these and i've gone through them but they are brilliant oh my god i know maybe they might not look like anything in the packet but i have paired them on me right now and honestly they're unreal i love them i honestly love them i don't know where she got them i think it might have been like honestly aliexpress or something i know lauren sells lashes in her little shop that she has in the academy and they are lashes from aliexpress and they are beautiful honestly do not doubt it until you've tried them last but obviously not least is the palettes that i bring so i'm just gonna go through them i'm not gonna open every single one of them because i've already been recording for 40 minutes so and obviously I've con i have to condense this video down to like 20 minutes or less kind of oh my god am i gonna be able to lift okay it doesn't actually look like that much but it is a lot when you're trying to fit it in that box because that box looks huge when i'm actually trying to put everything into the box it's honestly not as big as what it looks like but here are all the palettes that i bring obviously i don't need a million palettes either i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i have twelve palettes um obviously i you know i don't need a hundred palettes either because quite a lot of palettes repeat the colors this, this is the carnival tree oh my god this palette is beautiful i'm showing you this first because this is what actually came in my kit in lawrence so i might as well and I'm gonna open it and show you. Look how 
unreal this palette is i've used this palette this is beautiful honestly beautiful this is them oh god how am i supposed to show this this is them um on top of each other this is the carnival two this is the carnival three they are both staples though to have in your palette they the are palette in. then i have in my kit is this this is the morphe 3503 this palette is unreal as well i know i'm gonna sit here and say all these palettes are deadly but like obviously if they weren't deadly i wouldn't have them in my kit but look at this this pressed glitter is everything honestly oh my god unreal but yeah so this is what this palette looks like yes. this is um a beauty fit bay palette it's it says fiery on it it's literally just warm toned eyeshadows oranges browns everything like that. then i have the morphe 3502 palette that is just what that looks like beautiful i have the jaclyn hill palette everyone knows what that looks like there's just a little glance of the colors palette. on the this is what this looks like and um, these are really hard to blend actually being honest but the shimmers in it are really good so that's why i keep it in my palette because they are quite neutral or not neutral they are quite like warm kind of glammy look shimmers so they're handy yeah. they'll be perfect lmd palette this palette is unreal i actually want to get another one of these because this shade in the middle this contour shade brilliant like i would actually buy a full-on new palette for this and um, i wish they did a single in it but i don't think this this is a so so highlighter palette unreal holy grail highlighter palette honestly if i was told i could only have one highlighter or one highlighter palette this would be this this is the mac queen supreme palette it's basically a pressed kind of glittery pigment i actually just got that on my bed Lol. i'm going to be kidding. it's just like a pressed kind of and this is a highlighter this highlighter is beautiful these work really well with ingloss jarline honestly on their own they're a bit poo like and like with water they're not that great it's, this is the so oh my god I just realized an eyeshadow palette is missing. This is the Sosu Hot Fire palette. I also have the Hot Fire Remastered palette. For some reason, it's not in my kit. Maybe it must be, maybe it's over on my desk. I must have used it for a look and like not put it back. I don't know, but yeah. So this is the Hot Fire palette. I do like this, but I do like the Hot Fire Remastered palette a lot more. Then the last eyeshadow palette I have in my kit is this. This is the Naked Heat palette. This is the only naked palette or well like of the naked line in urban decay that i actually liked i thought all the rest of them were quite bland but this is what this looks like it's unreal warm tone purples oranges reds everything i say oranges is because that brown comes up quite orange but this palette i really love is this technique brows palette i do find it is handy to have a brows palette in your kit as opposed to just having pomades because sometimes you know some people a pomade might be too harsh maybe their eyebrows are a bit more you know thin and maybe like an eyebrow pomade isn't the best so this is what the inside of this looks like i'm just holding so everything doesn't fall out but it is handy just to have that like selection of different eyebrow powders you know just in case like but yeah so that is the last part so that's everything that's in my makeup kit thank you so much for watching